Do not be doing the most for somebody who could care in the least. A narcissist is going to lure you in with a false sense of intimacy quickly during the love bombing phase so that they can devalue you throughout the relationship and ultimately discard you. During that love bomb, they're going to make you a lot of promises that they don't end up keeping. It's called a future fake. They're going to tell you, we're going to be so happy together. We're going to be soulmates forever. We're going to have a family. We're going to have a house. We're going to do great things. But there's always some kind of sob story about why that can't happen in the present. I'm just down on my luck right now, but once I get on my feet, then we'll buy a house together. I went through so much childhood trauma and I never learned how to love. Or they might even say stuff like, I'm a bad person. Which, side note, if somebody tells you they're a bad person, do not stick around to see just how bad they are. Anyway, these sob stories accomplish two things. One, it helps them perpetuate their victim narrative. They always have to be the victim no matter what. But it also creates a level of vulnerability right off the bat between you two that you don't normally get in healthy, stable relationships. That makes you want to help that person. The narcissist is immediately using your empathy against you and they're gonna continue to do that to guilt you into serving them and to manipulate you. As soon as the narcissist knows you're trapped, maybe you got pregnant together, maybe you moved in, maybe you're engaged, or maybe they know that you're fully in love with them, they'll start to expect more and more from you. Sometimes without even verbally articulating it. And sometimes when you don't do all their little tasks, chores, or whatever, they will get mad at you. Now you're in the devaluing stage, and that is a one-way ticket to a discard or a reverse discard. During this time, you instinctually do more and more, emotionally, physically, or otherwise, in the relationship to get it back on track. The sick and twisted fate of a narcissistic relationship is that you can't get it on track no matter what you do. And in fact, the nicer you are to the narcissist, the more they start to resent you. So you're fighting and this person's always angry at you. And this person's telling you that actually you're the problem. And so you fall for the trap, sometimes for months and sometimes for years, of doing the most for a person who is giving you the least. If you're in a narcissistic relationship, you are no doubt confused. But what I can tell you is that this person has not been contributing anything emotionally for a long time. They are emotionally desolate people. They trick you into doing everything for them. That's their gross sense of entitlement. You got to see it for what it is. You have to realize that your needs have not been met in a very long time and get out of there. Go no contact. If you want an escape plan, I've got a book on Amazon called Navigating Narcissists. The link to that is in my bio.